under the hood of this F-150. Um, I'm really glad to be here in Dallas today. I've got a long history with the engine, and so I'm really thrilled to be able to tell you about it. Um, what I mean by long history is it's not a secret that the uh, basic uh, engine has been in production for a while with the Jaguar Land Rover. Um, it's produced at our uh, Ford's uh, Dagenham engine plant in the UK. And the engine was designed and developed by Ford in Europe. And I was part of that team years ago. Uh, myself and a number of colleagues uh, from Ford in Dearborn uh, were sent to Europe. Um, the engine, uh, original engine design started at our advanced research center in Aachen, Germany. And after a year there, where we laid out the basic architecture of the engine, uh, we moved to England and spent three years uh, in the UK uh, finalizing the design, doing all the development, the dynamometer testing. And then it went into production, as I said, at uh, Dagenham Engine Plant in Ford's, uh, Ford's own plant. Uh, we've been selling uh, derivatives of the engine to uh, Jaguar Land Rover for a number of years, and it's been a very good product for them. Um, but uh, we're really glad to finally have it here in the U.S. in the F-150, where, along with our 10-speed transmission, it's a, it's a fantastic powertrain. And for people that are towing um, and doing other things um, uh, like that, um, it's going to be a really good application. Uh, this engine um, was uh, uh, totally um, taken as a clean sheet of paper um, approach for the F-150. Obviously, we, uh, you know, we didn't change the architecture of the engine, but what I mean by clean sheet is we approached the engine as if it was brand new. So we, uh, on, on any program, we begin with a CAD model of the engine component. So we have uh, CAD models of the block, of the crankshaft, of the cylinder head, pistons, etc. And then we do uh, computer analysis, um, and, and we have an experienced team in Dearborn that does that on all our brand new engines, on the 6.7 liter Scorpion diesel and Super Duty on uh, this engine, um, and the 3.5 liter GTDI, everything. We take this uh, approach, you know, brand new, clean sheet of paper, we do it all in-house in, in Dearborn. Um, so on this engine, uh, we, we uh, took the CAD models, we put it through all our latest uh, CAE tools, and then anything that needed to be changed, we changed. We tweaked the design. Uh, we've got a number of um, changes to basic components that we share with JLR, uh, Jaguar Land Rover. Uh, for example, our, our analysis on the crankshaft showed areas for improvement. We also applied all our latest design rules. Um, and we uh, made changes to the crankshaft, tweaked the design, and then rolled those into the manufacturing process in Dagadam. So we uh, upgraded the machinery for producing the cranks. Our engine block is unique. Um, our exhaust system is completely unique. All new exhaust manifolds. Um, and turbocharger is a very key component. It's matched for F-150 for our duty cycle over here, where we expect um, a lot of towing. Um, our intake manifold, throttle body, uh, that uh, design was changed as well. Um, our ladder frame, our oil pan, uh, new for this engine. So we did all our design work and then we put the engine through all the testing uh, that any Ford engine would go through for the F-150. So we have our dynamometer cells in, <coughs> in uh, Dearborn. Uh, we put it through all the dynamometer testing. Um, uh, no engine that I've uh, worked on ever passes everything the first time, and uh, this engine was no exception. So we test, we learn, and uh, then we roll those changes into the design of the engine, and then we retest and test again until it passes with flying colors. Um, so this engine is a result of all that design work and all that testing. Um, and then from dynamometer, we move on to the vehicle. Uh, we put it into our uh, durability vehicles, and we run that through the same duty cycles that uh, any F-150 uh, goes through. And, and uh, again, we learn and improve and, and test until we've got a, uh, a very thoroughly validated product. Um, so that's what you've got under the under the hood here. And um, one area that we uh, spent a lot of attention on was the uh, NVH characteristics of the engine. We have a 2,000 bar fuel system. That's another change, another difference from uh, JLR. Um, they run at uh, 1,800 bar. Uh, bar is atmosphere, so 1,800 times uh, atmospheric pressure. 
we run at 2,000, but it's uh, 29,000 uh, PSI. Um, and we spent a lot of time on uh, tweaking our fuel system to deliver uh, uh, best-in-class NVH. So I think you'll be impressed uh, once you actually hear the truck run at uh, how quiet it is. Um, and it, um, so the fuel system is new, um, the EGR system is new uh, for, for U.S. emissions, and the, the net product is, uh, is I think, uh, a great match for the F-150.